All right, we're on lesson 1.2. So we're here, we're talking about the order of operations. So you may remember this from a pre-algebra course, but basically what the order of operations tells us is what to do first and then second and third and fourth and so on. So it's an order of importance or like a hierarchy. And we usually remember this by this acronym here called PEMDAS. A lot of times students will learn uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, okay? But what I like to think about it is uh, just remembering the PEMDAS and then thinking of it as four levels of importance. So the first uh, level of importance is parentheses. So parentheses, remember, are either represented like this or with brackets like that. Okay, but what you do is you do whatever's inside of those first, okay? Then you go to E, that's for exponents. Exponents, remember, looks like something like this, like three squared, see that power, that that number that's raised up there, that's an exponent. So you would do that second in order of importance. And then thirdly, you do multiplying and dividing. Those are on the same level. But what you wanna do if you have uh, a number of multiplications and divisions is you wanna work your way from left to right, just like you read, so from left to right in English, okay? And then lastly, addition and subtraction. Again, also you wanna work your way from left to right. So think of those four levels and we're gonna go through some examples together but one last thing if you have a fraction what you want to do is you want to treat the numerator okay the top part of the fraction and the denominator the bottom part of the fraction as separate groups so it's like almost like doing two problems you do the top and then you do the bottom and then you divide lastly okay so let's go through five examples here so see again if you can pause the video and do these on your own first see if you can beat me to it and then we can go over it together and make sure you got the right answer so here we go, three minus two squared times three. Now you don't wanna just think like uh, reading left to right and just start doing three minus two is one and then one squared and you don't wanna do that. You wanna think of your PEMDAS. You say, hmm, are there any parentheses? No, okay, so that's so good. So we got that checked off. How about exponents? Yes, right here. So that means that I wanna do this part first. So I've got two squared, that means two times two, two twice. So that's gonna give us four, okay? like that. So I'm, all I'm doing is bringing down everything that I didn't use in the previous step. Okay, now we say we did the exponents, there wasn't any parentheses, now we're down to multiplying and dividing. So let's see, so here you can see this dot right here means that these two are multiplied together. Four times three is 12. Okay, so I'm just bringing down everything else. And then lastly, you can see we're left with adding and subtracting. We've got three minus 12. You can do this on your calculator in a future lesson coming up fairly soon. We're gonna be talking about subtracting and positive and negative numbers. But for this case here, we're just gonna go ahead and do this on our calculator. Or if you know already, that's gonna be negative nine. Okay, so that's how you do it. You work through it step by step. Let's go to number two. So here we've got one half times three plus five minus four. We can see that there's some parentheses and we know that that's the most important thing. So we're gonna actually do what's inside of the parentheses first. Even though addition normally doesn't come down to the very last step, we wanna treat the parentheses, what's inside, we wanna treat that as a group first. So here we've got one half, okay, let's see, three plus five is eight. I'm gonna bring down the one half and I'm gonna bring down the minus four. Okay, so we checked off our parentheses, okay, there's not any exponents. But notice how the one half and the eight are right next to each other. So that means that they're multiplied together. So we're gonna do that next. So one half times eight is four. Okay, I'm just bringing down the minus four. And then lastly, we're down to adding and subtracting. Four minus four comes out to zero. That's our final answer and you've got it. So want to learn algebra one? Check out my Learn Algebra One video course for sale where we go through 87 video lessons that take you step by step by step through Algebra One. We talk about the important concepts, formulas, and we go through numerous example problems together to help you learn Algebra One. Click the interactive card or the link in the description below to take you over there to get started with some of the free lessons. In the meantime, let's continue on with this video. Got it. So when it comes to parentheses, you would work inside of those parentheses, but you let's say there was a number of different operations in here, you would then still follow that order of operations PEMDAS within the parentheses. So that's the idea there. So let's go to example number three here. So here we've got, let's see, we've got some parentheses. So we know that's our first step. So we're gonna work inside here. So I say, all right, well, what's the most important thing here? Is it adding? No, it looks like exponents comes before adding. So you can see this five squared, we have to do that part first. Five squared means five times five. See five twice, that's 25. And I'm just gonna bring everything else down that we didn't use. We're still inside the parentheses here. We wanna simplify seven plus 25 is 32, right? Bring down what we haven't used yet, the 16 and the 
the division sign, and then 16 divided by 32, that just comes out to one half, okay, or 0.5 if you want to write it as a decimal. So again, notice we started with the parentheses, the most important thing here, but within the parentheses, we still have to follow the order of operations, the PEMDAS. So that's why I did the five squared first, and I did not do the seven plus five first. You want to make sure you do the exponents first, that's more important, and then you work your way down. Okay, let's go to example number four here. All right, so here what do we have? Well, what's interesting is here we have a set of brackets and a set of parentheses. These brackets, these square brackets, what you do with the brackets is you alternate. So like if I had another set of parentheses like that, you basically try to alternate. But what you wanna do is you wanna work from the inside out, okay? So you're gonna work with the parentheses, but then you're gonna work with the innermost parentheses, right? Because within this parenthesis, we do the order of importance. And so that's gonna be the parentheses again. So here we've got eight minus six, which is two, okay, to the third power. I'm gonna bring down the 15, and I'm gonna bring down uh, the five, okay. So all I did was the innermost parentheses here. Now, you can see we've got subtraction. We also have exponents, but we can see exponents is above or more important than subtraction. So let's do that first. Two cubed means two times two times two. That's two th three times, which is eight, right? Bring down the 15. Okay, I'll just make those brackets like they were. And let's see, so now within these brackets or these parentheses, we have to do that first before we get to the multiplication. Okay, so 15 minus eight is seven. And then you can see the five and the seven are right next to each other with nothing in between. That means that they're multiplied together. Five times seven is 35. So this is a little bit more challenging problem because we had parentheses within parentheses. But think about starting from the inside parentheses, the innermost parentheses, and working your way out. But always keeping this PEMDAS uh, in mind. Last example, number five, it says evaluate, which remember from the last lesson, that means find the value when x equals nine. And notice we have a fraction here. And remember the note we talked about at the beginning, when you have a fraction, you treat the numerator and the denominator separately, like a separate groups. But remember when you evaluate, you put that nine in place of x. So we have two, okay, then the nine in place of the x. And then over here in the denominator, we're putting the nine in place of the x like so. So let's look at the numerator first. So we've got two and nine, they're right next to each other, that means multiplication. And then we have this addition, but remember multiplication comes before addition, so that's gonna be two times nine, which is 18. Okay, over here we just have nine minus six. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring that down. Okay, now we're down to uh, addition, which 18 plus three we know equals 21. Nine minus six, we can do that, that comes out to three. And then lastly, 21 divided by three comes out to seven, and we've got it. But what I did here is I thought of the numerator just as its own problem. I thought of the denominator as its own problem. I simplified them individually, and at the very end, we had to divide, uh, but we, didn't, we saved that for the last step. So that's the next section. We're gonna move on to 1.3. If you need to review this, go ahead and do that, but I'll see you in the next lesson.